What's up guys, we're here at the local park and I figured I might as well walk you through an exercise that you guys can do on your own. All you need is a soccer ball, a few cones, and um, a goal to shoot on. So this is a really, really good one for 1v1 situations if you wanna practice the attacking side of it. So what we'll do is we'll dribble through the cones in a specific way, we'll get to the pole, we'll go around the pole with a certain move, and then we'll go for a finish. And then we'll progress into a different scenario so that you guys can see how it looks kind of in a different situation. The reason why we're doing it in the cones first is so that it's a little bit of a tighter space. You really have to focus on your ball control before you look up, do your move around the defender, and then have a finish. So let's get straight into it. So the first move we're gonna do is the shoulder drop. So what you wanna do is while you're dribbling, you're gonna drop your shoulder, pretend like you're going in that direction, and then you're gonna quickly change direction, take the ball with the outside of the opposite foot, and then go in a different direction. So what we're focusing on for this one is our change of direction and our change of speed have to be very, very good. So we also wanna make sure that we sell it. So what I mean by that is you have to really over-exaggerate it in order to bait the defender thinking that you're going in one direction and then we quickly explode in the other. So there's loads of variations to this exercise. Get creative and use as many moves or as many different types of moves as you want. The variations that I'm gonna go over are the rollover and the scissors. So let's show you how those work in this exercise. So some things to focus on when you're doing the rollover. You wanna make sure you move as you drag the ball. So don't start getting ahead of yourself because then you're gonna forget the ball. Second thing is we're gonna use the sole of our foot, so the bottom part of our foot, to drag it across our body. And lastly, what we wanna do is don't do the move too early. So when we get to the defender, you don't wanna be too close because if you're a little too close, they're gonna be able to stab and take it away. If you're a little bit too far, they're gonna be able to read you because they have enough space to cut you off before you start making the movement. The last variation is the scissors. And of course, if you have any variations, feel free to add them in. But this is how the scissors looks. So for the scissors, when we're going through the cones, we're not focused so much on speed and how fast we do it as much as we are ball control. We're in a very, very tight space. It's gonna be hard to get those movements across. So we're just really focusing on, can we keep the ball nice and close? As we get past the cones and we're making our move to the actual defender, that's when we really wanna be able to be quick, as fast as we can, quick change of speed, quick change of direction to get by, and then we're off for a finish. So now the progression is, we don't have as much space. We're not dribbling directly at the defender, but instead we're gonna have our back to goal. We're gonna be shielding the ball away from the defender. How can we turn quickly, face up, do one of our moves, and then have a finish? So what we wanna do for this progression, we're starting off in a shielding position. So we have the ball on one foot extended out so that the defender can't get to it. We have our body in between us and the defender. We're making sure we're feeling where the defender is. Our knees are slightly bent. We're in a good position so that the defender can't unbalance us. We're just shielding the ball temporarily, waiting for the time to be able to turn and then face forward.
So there you go guys. That's a quick exercise you can do if you want to come out here by yourself and work on some 1v1 situations. So just a little recap. The first one, what we're doing is maybe we have a little bit of space. We're dribbling forward at goal. Maybe we're dribbling through a few defenders and then we get to the last defender. We're able to make our move, quickly accelerate, change direction and have a shot from the middle. What I wanted to recreate from the second one is you got your back to goal. Maybe you just received it from a center mid. But having our back to goal, we're not very dangerous. It's very, very hard to get a good shot, a good finish when we're turned and when we're away from goal. So what we want to do is be able to turn quickly, keep the ball nice and close to you, turn and face forward, look at the defender, see if they're going to stab or not. If you have a little bit of space, do your move, quick change of acceleration, change of pace, and then we also have a finish in that one. All right, time to go home. <laughs>